I got an unexpected call back in April. I was in Nicaragua on a medical mission trip and I was about to speak to a group of students and residents and physicians. I didn't get good service down there and I wasn't planning on answering the call, but I'm so glad I did. It was a call from a good friend of mine in Birmingham, Alabama, Daniel Dillon. He owns a big construction company there and he's a hunter and a strong and a mighty man, a man that many people follow. He was in tears and he was definitely deeply disturbed. You see, he had just left the funeral of his cousin, Cindy. Cindy was known in the media as Cynthia. She was one of the people shot at the Covenant School. She was a substitute teacher. She usually didn't go to that school, but that day she went and she substituted. And there before children, she barely knew, she put her life in harm's way to protect them. And she gave her life for them. He said Cindy was a mighty force for good. She was a woman who loved the Lord Jesus Christ. And like all good Southern women, she talked slow, but she thought fast. And you knew exactly where she stood. When her three children took the stage, they shared about Christ and how he had worked in their mom's life and in their family's life. They talked about forgiveness and redemption. Daniel told me there wasn't a breath of hatred or anger at that funeral. He said it wasn't really like a funeral at all. It was a three hour praise service. What I want you to hear today is that Christ can take whatever evil you and I face and use it for your and my good and ultimately his glory. He is with us, he is for us, and he will sustain us through it all. You have been forewarned. Now it's time that you're forearmed. Will you join me in a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, you've forewarned us that there will be trouble. We look to you, the author and sustainer of life, that you will give us the strength we need to honor you to the end. Lord, we know that there's much evil in this world. Help us to confront it with good. And I pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.